Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to redirect rainwater away from your house. In this simple tutorial, I will be going over a simple, easy, unbelievably easy thing that you can do to get that rainwater that is coming down through the downspout away from your house. As you can see right here, um, this right here is the downspout, sorry about the poor lighting, that is coming down from the eaves troughs on the top of the house where the roof is. And right now it's kind of close to the house. So I'm going to use this little flexible pipe to redirect it away from the house. Um, now you can find these or something just like it at pretty much your local hardware store. They all carry them or some variant of them. Uh, and they're really easy to install. What you want to do is you want to essentially connect it to either that part of the downspout right there, so right at the beginning, or even this part. Um, and you can use just a couple of simple screws. Um, and with those screws, you're gonna connect it, and then you're gonna guide the water wherever you wanna put it. Now, in addition, right now, this downspout is actually pointing towards my neighbor's house, and I want to change that because I don't want all the water going to his house, so I'm just gonna kinda direct it down there with a little bit of a curve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down, and um, I'm gonna just point it over there and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm basically gonna be placing that where the downspout is. In addition to the downspout there, I'm gonna be putting in two uh, self-tapping screws. I'll show you the screws that I'm using. <clears throat> so right over here, these are the screws. These are just, uh, you wanna use self-tapping screws. These are probably a little too long, a little longer than I would like, but you know what, it's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna get the job done. Um, and then uh, that's it, just gonna direct it wherever I want it to go. So let's go ahead. So the first thing I'm going to do, take the flexible downspout and I'm just going to turn it so it hits the angle that I want, place it over the pre-existing downspout and take a self-tapping screw and the reason you use self-tapping screws is because they'll go right into the metal. If you use like right, you can use, a, I mean, you can use a regular screw, but it's going to be harder for it to go into the metal. So you want to use self-tapping screws. Uh, you should probably go a little bit shorter than three quarters of an inch like I'm using. But like I said, for now, this is going to probably, this is more of a test to see where the water goes. Then I'll do more of a permanent solution in the future. I'm going to drill this in and it's going through the flexible downspout into the metal downspout, just like that. Okay. Let's just go ahead and get it in place. All right. So we now have one screw in place. Um, and what I would recommend is that you also use a second screw. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that single screw in place and I'll tell you why. Like I said, I'm gonna kinda see how this works. The goal of this is to see where the water ends up. And uh, if I need any additional pieces, which I do, I'll tell you in one moment. But uh, I wanna see how this works. But right now, as you can see, it's redirecting the rainwater away from the home. The reason you wanna do this is if your rainwater constantly stays right beside your house, it's gonna eat away at the foundation and the stonework. And eventually what's going to happen is you're going to get a leak, okay? So if you want to prevent a leak in your foundation, this is what you should do. Now I will show you something right here. This is an oversized uh, downspout right here that we have the metal downspout. It's sort of larger than the usual ones that I've dealt with. Um, so I had to use the bigger side of this. There's two sides. There's the bigger side of the flexible downspout and then there's a smaller side over here. This is usually the one I would use but because the downspout is a bit oversized I had to sort of use that bigger side but as you can see hopefully you can see this with the poor lighting as you can see right there it sort of sticks out from below so the downspout ends here but then this sticks out from below and uh, that will cause a problem it, it, it might cause a problem in the long run so what I will do once I, for a more of a permanent solution is I'm going to take this metal downspout I'm going to add an adapter to bring it to the proper sizing um, and then I'm going to sort of secure it more permanently but for now as you can see instead of the water ending right here it ends over here and what you can do as an added bonus is you can even maneuver your rocks or whatever you have underneath that flexible downspout the soil the grass to give it more of an angle and what that's going to do I'm going to I'm going to raise it up at the back there I'm going to raise it up so it gives it more of an angle and the flow of the water is going to end up further and then we have all this rock here for drainage but that's it that is how to redirect water away from your home very important uh, because if water stays nearby your home then uh, it's going to eat away at the foundation and you'll end up getting a leak in the future so you always want to do this 
Um, and obviously make sure you have the proper drainage and make sure that your eaves drops are nice and clean. Uh, and that's it. And if you already have a leak in your foundation and you're going to fix it in the future, but you want to sort of prevent the water from leaking in right now, this is also something that you can do to reduce the water. So let's say I had a leak over there. I could add multiple downspouts to sort of get that water away from there and it might help the situation temporarily. You want to get the leak fixed permanently in the foundation, but temporarily you can use this to redirect the water. And that's it. In this video, I've shown you how to redirect the rainwater away from your foundation. It's a simple, easy, really inexpensive way to do it. And you can do what I did, test it out. When you see that it works well, do more of a permanent solution. Uh, like, you know, secure it more permanently and angle it as, as perfectly as you want to. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.